Dumb cats, what are you doing? Mm, you're starting to get a glucose curve now. Yes, now you're starting to look better and feel better, especially since we got you on a new diet. Yes, I know you're gonna get much healthier now. And you think we can get you in diabetes remission in a couple months? You're doing good. You're not taking too much insulin, Tom Gats. I know. I know. You just love to cuddle, don't you? Yes. Well, Jeep's back in the garage. Took it to the car wash. Did really good, actually, on those trips. There'll be many more to come. Now it's time to... Work on the sliders and that. Yeah, it was a good time. I think North Fork, Racehorse Pass, Crown Mountain. I think it was like uh, 150 kilometers of 4x4 trail. Pretty close. Now I got to um, inspect the Jeep underneath. Just see if anything's loose, anything needs to be taken care of. I also brought HP tuners in. Because I want to adjust my fan. The reason for that being is that my thermostat temperature is 195, which 90 degrees C is also the same temperature that my fan is set to to turn on. That being said, I want to see what the high and low settings are again. Probably set my low temperature 95, turn off at 90 because 90 is what the thermostat temperature is. Because the way it is right now, once it gets up to 90 degrees, it stays at 90 degrees, and the fan stays there because that's what the uh, thermostat's set to. So I wanna do that, inspect it, test it, and uh, one of the things me and Fedora didn't have in our kit, but I picked up is a uh, valve stem tool kit with lots of valve stems in it because Fedora ended up damaging one. And I have a Smitty built tire repair kit. For some reason, I hadn't looked at it for years. For some reason I thought it had valve stems, or not valve stems, valve cores in it, and uh, but didn't. So had to Fedora had to rob one out of his spare to fix his and uh, back on track. So I guess we should probably get started with this video. So I got HP tuners, what I want to do is read the vehicle. What I need to do every three trips, I got to replace the cone. I also see if I can use that instead of zip ties always to button this down to keep it tight because zip ties are becoming a little bit of a pain. I think it might actually work instead of using zip ties. Now is the time to have a look underneath for damage. Got lots of gap there between the skid plate and the transmission pan, even for the back. I might have to look at getting new bolts and then shortening that up. Yeah, on second thought, it looks like. The front drive shaft hit the exhaust a few times, put a big dent. Kind of had a feeling that was going to happen because it's so tight and so close. I'm going to have to figure something else out for that. Doing an inspection at the back. Seal still holding out good, not leaking. No more issues with the fuel lines at the rear because that was a big problem. So now it's time to come up with something with the sliders. I got the plate that's going to go on here. Then I think I'm going to weld a piece of flat iron on the bottom because the body has these tabs that go along. 
and then I could just bolt to the bottom of there too and that'll bridge it up that real good so this is just actually going to fit up perfect once I cut my angle in there and I use my little template here because that's gonna fit up like that come across come straight and that actually fits up perfectly and I got a piece of flat bar right there and then I'm gonna weld across the bottom like a 90. Hey Tom, get that one inside. Are you done with outside? Are you? You're starting to feel better. So I just gotta cut those ends off, those pieces. Yeah, my piece is cut out. I'm gonna weld the flat on the bottom. Gonna use some Bessie clamps to hold this down. Use the welding magnets to keep it square. And just tack everything up. That's perfect because all I want to do right now is just tack those up. So now I'm just inside using the Bentex software. I kind of want it to come about four and a half inches out. That's kind of giving me my measurements to work off of. Got my tent plates tacked up. I guess I'm gonna get the Jeep out of the garage so I can get the bender out on the floor. That way we can bend the tube up. Ah, uh, sure is nice with the tack working now. Last time I used this, I bent that piece for my third brake light. So I'm going to swap it over to the one and a half inch die. I'm going to start with a lead in of about three inches. So then from there, our first mark will be 23.4. And then from there we go 6.2, which is 158 millimeters for our next bend. And then 35, which is... nine hundred and eleven millimeters which would be roughly right about there and then forty point four four six which is a thousand and twenty seven which will be roughly right around there so I need to bend 30 degrees here 22 degrees here 22 degrees here 30 degrees here if I could, well, actually, it's really won't, eh, it might work. Give that a quick shot of WD. Arr, arr.
I always go about five degrees over for spring back. Last bend. Thirty five degrees. Both pieces are bent. I just gotta line them up and then cut them down the size. Both equally. I just need to figure out where I want to cut that and then cut her. A two bender is a huge investment, but it's worth every penny considering what you can build with it. Doms. We just got back from the vet. Tomcat had to get a new sensor put on. I know. But it looks like we're not going to go into remission. It looks like we're going to be stuck giving them needles. Right, Tomcats? I know. I know. You're so sad. But you're loved. Yes, you're loved. So I got my tube cut and mocked out how it's going to be. And then I'm going to have... Two more tubes that go across with a platform in the middle with that stipple died going up and that's going to be my step so i'm going to put that panel up that i got right here fit it up to the side find out where i can put my holes and of course i could transfer it over to that one there Use that special little tool to help lift her up. So just by feel, probably going to have to go nuts right there. I can do bolts across there, but then I have to do a nuts right in the front. And then I could probably do bolts all along the bottom. Now instead of doing layout again, I just go through every hole, put indentation, so I know where to drill. Now I'm gonna tack this. I'm just gonna tack the ends front and back. That way, if I need to tweak it, but it looks it looks pretty straight. Unless my eyes are crooked, we're gonna find out. But of course, once you weld, it's gonna pull it a little bit. Now I drag that tool over to this side. Got a Bessie clamp. Need to grab a piece off that table, bring it in. It's grossly hot out today. I do have to keep going inside every hour, just check on Tomcat. I think he's good to go now. His glucose level this morning, usually his glucose curve by the morning time comes is, is up pretty high. So the time he eats, gets his insulin, It'll start going down about halfway through the day, but I got up today and his glucose level was at, uh, I think around 9 mmol, which was in the green still. And I knew his glucose level was supposed to go, well, go up once he eats, but then I was debating. So I didn't give him the full shot, which is good because he's been dancing in the green all day, but his, uh, Sugar levels or glucose levels are starting to go up now, so um, I won't have to check on him every hour just to make sure that he's not going to get low. But kind of like that dancing game, the bed thinks he's going to be stuck at 2.5 units twice a day, but 
I still have hope that uh, we'll get him into remission, but time will tell. It's gonna get all these holes drilled. Now this is the one for the driver's side, same thing. I'm gonna fit it up, tack weld it. So here's gonna be. A lot of people will run them up like that. I'm running it flat. I want it to be more as a step. So I just fit it up right now because you never know how it's gonna look until it's fit up. I kinda like it, yeah. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the sheet metal. I have an idea. I need to get a uh, inch and a half hole saw tomorrow because the one I got won't work. I'm gonna cut a couple tubes, notch them, put them in here. This is my center line right here. And then sheet metal six inches on each side. Kind of act as a step. I got this notcher tool right here, which works really good. The problem is, is that I bought these Diablo hole saw bits, but these are the quick connects and the insert is welded so it's not threaded in. And the only other inch and a half I got is too short to drill through the tube, unfortunately. What I gotta do with this is cut it down to two feet, cut it in half, and then cut it um, three and three quarters wide. So using the fast charger, it's gonna take forever to charge that nine amp hour battery, which is good. You need to put it on a slow charge for once. This is all ready to go. I did get my plates cut out right over here and i'm kind of thinking maybe two one inch dimple die one and a half inch dimple die two one inch um and so on but i don't know if i'm gonna have enough room to fit it all we'll see i think that's it i think that's it I think it's motherfucking beer time and shut this video down got quite a few beers in there all right shut her down it's motherfucking beer time I'm pretty much at a standstill now, except to get one and a half inch hole saw and a one inch hole saw so I can continue on with this project. So I'm just gonna end it. There's still lots more fabrication to do. It's been hot today and that beer tastes so good. One thing when you're fabricating something, fabrication seems to take forever, especially when you're doing something one off. I know sometimes I get people ask me to build them something, but for one-off projects, the amount of time and labor involved to do it, most times just really isn't worth it. For yourself, it's all right. For helping out a buddy, it's all right. But unless you got a system and you're going to keep producing the same thing or unless someone's willing to pay the money, just not worth it. Anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. I'm gonna finish those sliders next video and get them in raptor lined and then yeah we're good to go i think all the fabrication on the jeep will be completed then this is metal i bought before all the covid crap happened and six months later seven months later i'm finally getting around to building it so I'll see you guys in the next video i gotta check on my little buddy tomcat to see how he's doing big stretching tomcat we got to check your glucose. Oh, you're going up, but it's almost needle time for you. It's almost needle time.